Welcome to Gallus Gallivants, and in this episode, we travel to Washington DC. We visit the White House, see the Washington Monument, then get shouted at by the Secret Service as the President's motorcade passes by. Come get lost with us. Hey guys, welcome to Gallus Gallivants. Uh, we're on our second day in Philadelphia. We are getting ready to head to the bus station to go to Washington DC, and I've just found a Toynbee tile right outside our hotel. I have no idea how we missed it, but I found it. So I'm going to have a little look at it in a minute. Go now. Right. Here we go. Time the idea. Planet Jupiter. So cool. Useless tools. I'm really happy I found one. And I wasn't making it all up. Wow, the station's cool. Check this. This place is amazing. How big is this place? Everyone thinks I'm from Arizona because of my shirt. <laughs> um, we've not had a Philly cheesesteak yet, which sucks. Uh, we're just in a cool restaurant in the station, but we've got a day at the end when we come back. We're getting on a mega bus, and it looks the exact same as it does in the UK. Look at this. It's exactly like home. That's so cool. So here are the top two. Seats number three and four on a mega bus are right above a stairwell means that you can put your seat all the way back and not annoy anyone so plus you also get the best view so we've got a bus to ourselves almost so next stop Washington DC bus ride. It took quite long, about three hours in total. Wow, we've just walked out of the main station at Union Street Station and this is Washington. We're gonna explore this place for the next two days. It's really hot today, it's in the high 30s, so this scarf, I've had it on for about 10 minutes and it's coming off because it's too warm. One, four, four, yeah, four, cool. Four, four. City, another taxi. Is District Hotel. So, let's pound the ground. You want to do it? Yeah. Our hotel location is really good. It's just off 1500 Pennsylvania, so we're going to make the extra 100 to the White House, hopefully, in this baking heat, and see where Mr. Obama lives and have a go at him for stealing our flight slot. And Making his messy speech. There's the, the White House. Do you, what, do you know what? Everyone kept saying, oh, it's smaller than you're going to expect it to be. So it's actually bigger than, than you thought it was. I was yeah, because everyone said it's so small. It's not really small. It's White House. It's so cool. It's so quiet here. It's usually a lot, lot busier, but. I'm going to get up closer, see if I can get a picture with it. It's country number 11, Iron Brew Tour, White House. I'm going to share an Iron Brew with Obama. Right, let's go see the Washington Monument. So there's the Capitol building, all the way down there. See it? So we'll go to that next, after we go to the Washington Monument. Oh, there's a motorcade! Oh my god, the president's coming! Oh, I'm sorry, I just got completely excited because I think the president's coming, there's a motorcade coming and they've blocked the roads off. Uh, yeah, what is going on? This is exciting stuff. Okay, so Obama's coming, we think. This is amazing. Oh my God, there he's there, sorry. I'm getting on the road. Okay, President Obama. 
we may have been following him about. Sorry! I guess you did it. There he is. That's the president's motor kid. So all week we've been literally like right behind President Obama. First at the airport, then at the speech, and now at the White House. So wow, that's so gallows. That's an absolute fantastic fluke moment. I did get shouted at by a policeman and I did get a bit scared because they have guns here, so top tip. If they tell you to do anything, just do it right away and call them sir. Wow. That was amazing. I can shout at by a policeman with a gun. And I would I kinda got fright. <laughs> this is actually happening. Mighty, mighty mighty It's like something straight away through. Darling, there's food plans. So I think we should go get a bite to eat, sit in the park, eat our food and set up a time lapse. Okay. And enjoy our food while we're doing a little motion time lapse. How's that sound? That sounds good. So here's that time lapse now. So I'm not going to get into the history of the Masons or how heavily involved they were in the building of Washington City. George Washington himself was a Mason. At the very top of the, the Washington Monument there's actually a gold cap and it's got some Masonic symbols on it. And the whole city, when it was gridded out, you can actually see set square and compass actually on this, the layout of the streets as well. There's other things in there that you can get crazy deep into, like there's a pentagram apparently in there as well. And a lot of conspiracy buffs will jump on that. But I just wanted to mention that George Washington was originally a mason and there's so much Masonic imagery throughout the city. So directly behind the Washington Monument is World War II Monument. And at the end of that is on Honest Abe, the Abraham Lincoln statue. So we're going to take a little wander down there and acquaint ourselves with it. A lot of people will be un unwell in this heat, I think. We are somewhat acclaimed to heat now after the many places we've been this summer, but our inner Scottish person is still dying off. But remember, wear sunscreen, unlike us today. Yeah, top tips, bring sunscreen. Let's go down and see the water. I don't know if you can hear how actually loud that is and how powerful the water is, but there's so much power. It's so loud, but it's just so beautiful. It's such a beautiful way to encapsulate the loss of our nation after the war. And this here is a reminder, a beautiful reminder that serves a purpose to never forget and remember who was lost. Remember why they were lost. See, coming from somewhere like Auschwitz a couple of weeks ago, remember how sad that was. To come and see something as beautiful as this is the exact contrast to that. It really makes you think. It really. It makes you understand what the price of freedom actually was. And here you can see, laid out for the whole entire nation, you see etched in stone, etched in granite. Here mark the price of freedom. This is beautiful. These are all the stars, the fallen men. We're going to go to Arlington Cemetery as well and see that as a bleak reminder of what war can do. I think we're going to see Abe first though. We've been walking for quite a while and it looked quite small in the distance but actually it's massive. 